Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me Never been the one get RP up on a white tee Keep my hands clean, got some hitters moving shicey Ask me if I'm on them with some Gucci b Bonjour mes amis, it's Curly Guy here and I am back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my nursing after clinicals routine. This is like my nighttime routine. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you guys what I do. So the first thing I do is go ahead and take off everything I wore to clinicals that day. I take it off right at the door and I just go ahead and do that because I don't want to bring any pathogens or anything like that into my living space. So I just go ahead and make sure to get everything off. And then I also remove my watch. And this is very important because when you're in the clinical setting, sometimes you're around very, very sick people. And you definitely want to make sure that you're not bringing home anything that can make you sick and contaminating your living space. So I just get off my uniform and I drop it directly in my... Next thing I do is I go ahead and light a candle. I think burning candles is, you know, therapeutic. A lot of people use aromatherapy, so I like to do that. It just sets the tone and kind of go ahead and start resetting my mind for the day. After that, I go ahead and get my shower wa water running and the right temperature and everything. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going ahead and gathering everything I need for the shower. And then I go ahead and get ready to get in the shower. Once I'm in the shower, the first thing I do is go ahead and saturate my hair to make sure I'm rinsing out anything that I may have picked up throughout the day. Um, our hair is usually always up, but just to be sure, I like to go ahead and rinse it first. Now this first product I'm going to be using is from Shea Moisture's new line. I absolutely love this line and it is the green coconut and activated charcoal line. This one is for purifying and hydrating and it actually does really well in my hair. I've tried it once um, and I didn't even use a lot. Uh, I used a little bit more this time just because it was a clinical day and like I said, I wanna detoxify and exfoliate my scalp and get rid of everything. But the consistency is kinda weird. It's kinda like a putty at first um, and then you'll see it turns into like a shampoo. So I really do like that. My hair felt so clean as well as my scalp and I couldn't feel any buildup left on my hair so that let me know that this product worked very well and then I just go ahead and disperse that throughout all of my hair and repeated that same thing on the other side of my hair all of my hair was coated I just then went in with my Vanity Planet scalp massaging brush and I will put the uh, link down below and then I also leave the coupon code here somewhere on the screen um, because I absolutely love this. I use this every time I clarify my scalp or do any deep cleanse like this. I always use it and it vibrates so I absolutely love it and I think my code you can get it for 50% off. Once I do that I leave that on my hair for a little while just so the detox can work a little bit longer and just pull it up in a bun. Then I go ahead and saturate my face with water to rinse off any impurities before going in with the next product which is the purifying and hydrating in shower mask. Now guys, this mask was a game changer for me because usually it takes me a while to use masks because you know you have to put them on, let them dry and all of that. But this one is an in shower mask so it actually works with the help of the steam from the shower. Um, and I just put that on and leave it on for about five minutes. About five minutes. Next, I'm going to be using the cleansing bar soap. This soap left my body feeling very hydrating, um, fit my skin very hydrated. After I got out, I noticed that I didn't even have to put on a bunch of lotion or anything, so I just went on and sealed my skin in with oil, as you'll see a little bit later in the video. But yeah, I pretty much just went on and cleansed the rest of my body with this bar soap. And I love the aesthetic of it. It's like It looks like marble, so I really did like that. Um, after doing that, I just go ahead and rinsed all of that product out of my hair. Um, and it's so crazy, using this product, my hair did not feel stripped like at all. It rinsed out so smoothly and there were like little pieces in my hair, but those dissolved so easily and also rinsed out so I did not have any issues rinsing it out. And as you guys can see, I'm now rinsing off that mask off my face. It's been about 5 to 10 minutes, so I just go ahead and rinse that off. Um, while I'm rinsing my hair as well and as you guys can see my hair has grown a lot You see when it was wet just now it has grown a lot 
Uh, next thing I'm going to do, stepping out of the shower, I'm just going to go ahead and dry my face and dry my body a little bit and get ready to move on to the next part. So now that I'm out the shower, I like to put my turby twist on my hair to dry up and soak up some of that excess water while I am doing the rest of my skincare. And this is their moisturizing jelly cream and it literally is a moisturizing jelly cream. My face was so moisturized after using this, but it is a weird texture. It's like a jelly and a cream mixed together. Just think about putting jello and putting together and that's kind of the feel that you'll get when using this product. But my face really absorbed it really, really nicely. And it smells nice and my skin definitely felt moisturized. As you can see, I'm happy with the results. Moving on, now that I'm out of the shower and out of the bathroom, I just go ahead and um, dry off the rest of my body. And yes, you can see a little bit of my bed in the background. My room tour is coming, but it's not quite finished yet. So stay tuned for that. Next, I just apply some underwear. And yeah, I didn't want it to get too X-rated for you guys. Got to keep it PG here. And as I said earlier, I just went on next and applied some oil on my skin to moisturize it. Because as you can see, I don't look dry or ashy even prior to applying it. But I do like to go ahead and apply it just to seal in all the moisture that the products gave me. Now that my hair has had some time to soak up some of that water, usually because um, I'll have clinical again this week, I don't do a whole lot to my hair. Um, I just go ahead and try to make sure it stays moisturized. So what I'm pretty much gonna do is just put some moisturizer in my hair and then um, put it in two pigtail braids. That usually works for me and it gives me like a nice little braid out at the end of the week. That was the Manuka Honey and Yogurt leave-in conditioner that I use in my hair also by Shea Moisture and as you can see I just added a little bit more to the end to get a little bit more moisture and I just repeated that on the other side next it's time for me to have dinner at this point it's around 7 p.m. you guys so I'm just getting ready to have some dinner because I don't like to eat after 8 no later than 9 o'clock and while I do that I just do some studying as well um, because there's a lot of studying when you're in nursing school, like a lot of studying. So any free moment you can find, you need to be studying. If you have a lot of free time, then you're doing something wrong. And so I just eat my dinner and finish up my studying. And, um, yeah. So once I finish studying and all of that and eating my dinner, I just go into the bathroom so I can begin to do oral care, um, which is what I call it every day at clinical. So that's why I'm saying oral care right now. I just go ahead and brush my teeth. And yes, I use the Crest 3D Whitening. I've been using it for years and it is my favorite toothbrush and toothpaste. And so I just go ahead and, you know, get that out of my mouth. My teeth feel nice and clean. But just to get rid of any extra bacteria, I go ahead and use the Crest mouthwash as well. And yeah, my teeth are clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to prepare my bed for, you know, bed. I don't like to sleep on my comforter um, because it is like a beige white color. So I definitely don't sleep on it. I just fold it back and then, you know, use my regular comforter and sheets and a few pillows. Um, that is actually my satin pillowcase. Then I scroll through social media a little bit just before bed just to get my daily dose. Can't deprive yourself all the way of everything. You do have to get some time in for yourself. Then I go ahead and set my alarm for the next day, which is typically for 7 a.m. Um, on the days that we don't have clinical. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to get ready to go to bed. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Good night. <laughs>